Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Luther B40. Just uh, tell, give, showing you what I come to the conclusion of. I've been playing with my uh, cell. You notice it's wired in a three and five configuration, which is typically extremely uh, uh, inefficient. In other words, this thing could be getting hot really quick under normal circumstances. If this was get, if this was getting fed with the uh, brute force straight DC it would be getting hot. But what I did was I took my uh, I don't know if I can point in it I set my uh, current limiting I uh, basically backed out the, the uh, duty cycle all the way out so it's not wasn't interfering. I, I adjusted my current limiting so I had 22, 22 amps on the amp meter and then what I ended up doing after that is I backed down on my du duty cycle until my plate voltage was uh, uh, 2.1. Uh, you'll notice the reading here says 4.24, but that's because I'm going across. I'm actually going across two gaps. So whatever this voltage is divided by two, and that's what my gap voltage is. So this would be 2.12. Uh, uh, that's my gap voltage. My cell voltage is 8.44, and the the thing that I thought was what I thought was most interesting is that I can pretty much control the efficiency of this cell I can make it as efficient or inefficient as I want just by turning this one pot right here I'm trying to watch the camera and watch the uh, so if I crank this in whoa don't come off the table I crank this in crank my plate voltage up and you watch my output start to crank up my plate voltage there's my 2.2 is the one I always liked but I mean if I go to like 2.5 which would be 5 volts here Enough hands. Enough hands. I'm not going to do math on the fly. I'm just going to 5 volts on, on this one right here. So that'd be 2.5. So that's 2. Y, that would be 2.5 gap voltage. Notice my output is really going now. My cell voltage is 10 volts. And my amps have cranked up to the 20.65. Now, the, in this configuration, with it set like this, it'll, it'll heat up. So I don't want to leave it like this for very long. But, I, I mean, it sounds to me like, the way I'm looking at it, so I can dial in whatever efficiency I want electronically as opposed to having to worry about m mixing my plates or uh, worrying about this, the, the uh, concentration of electrolyte. I can, I can make it as efficient or inefficient as I want. If I wanted to I could just crank this all the way up and it would start cranking out heat. But uh, I mean right now I don't have my thermometer out but it feels like maybe uh, 85 degrees. No, maybe not even that much. I just think that's sweet. I think that is sweet. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I'm I'm thinking I could probably uh, I could probably wire all of these plates if I wanted to. I just go plus minus plus minus plus minus and get the efficiency I want out of it. And that'd be that'd be uh, well, that's a lot more wiring than this. Uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm just playing with it. I'm trying to decide. I mean, I got to do some gas measurements to find out if it really is as efficient as I claim it is. I'm not prepared to do that right yet. I'm just, like I said, I'm just now playing with it. So, all right, that's that's all I got on this pass. Basically, um, I've come to understand. Uh, previously in the test, I was using current, I was using the current limiting to set the uh, cell voltage. 
and that was uh, in here. Uh, the current limiting is what your top end, what the maximum amount of current you want to allow to pass. So once this gets to 22 volt, or once it gets to 22 amps, it starts folding back even further and starts dropping these voltages here on my cell and on my plates to uh, to reduce the amp current. So this is sort of like the the uh, current limiting is the safety net, but the percent duty is how you can actually control what you, how what your how how efficient your cell is going to be. All right. Well, I, like I said, I think I've wasted enough of your time. Uh, this is Luther P40 uh, signing off. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Take care.